what's going on my lords and ladies it is your samurai back again with another elden ring content and today edgar in arena's questline is up on the table and it is a tale that spins around edgar being the father of arena and the dilemma of castle Morn. today i will be providing the steps on how to complete this questline get a grafted greatsword as a reward, and many more. No Edgar and Arena stories as well, or the outcome of it, plus you get to progress the questline of NPC Hayera as well, so let's jump right to it. Step 1 is meeting Arena, and she is located near the Bridge of Sacrifice Side of Grace at the borders of Limgrave and Weeping Peninsula. Talk to her and hear her request. She's looking for her father, Edgar, and asks you to deliver her letter for her. Step 2 is finding Edgar in Castle Morn. He's not that hard to find, it is just that Castle Morn is littered with enemies to proceed with caution. Past the castle courtyard, head to the inner section until you reach the ladder that you can climb up. Tread the upper level of the castle with caution and past the battling soldiers and misbegottens is a tower that you can climb using the wooden staircase. Here is where you can find Edgar. Step 3 is giving the letter to Edgar. He will tell you that he can abandon his post due to the state of Castle Morn, meaning that he can go to Arena as well, and he also mentions that Grafted Blade of Morn should be protected from the Mispicadens, leave Edgar after exhausting his dialogues, and return to the previous castle ramparts you've been through and find these broken castle walls with a side of grace that will lead you to progress in this level. Step 4 is returning to Irina. Teleport back and determine her state where an iron cleaver was found next to her dead body. An unfortunate happening indeed. Step 5 is teleporting back to the side of grace that we just activated to progress further in the castle. We will do a little bit of parkouring to traverse this level. Our goal is to access the lower levels and a series of high jumps are necessary. You can see the boss arena from the higher grounds and after reaching the lower grounds, head to the boss area and engage Leonine and defeating Leonine will reward you with a grafted blade. We are about to finish Edgar's questline but before the next step, if you are in straight to the point guides, tips and tricks like this one or you just love Japanese role playing games, you are in the right place. Consider subscribing to the channel and enjoy weekly content and liking the video will surely help me more than you can imagine. So step 6 is up on the table and it is returning to Edgar. Talk to him after taking down Leonine. He will tell you that he's no longer bound to his duties and the Sword of Morn is in good hands. Step 7 is returning to the Bridge of Sacrifice and exhausting Edgar's dialogue and he will mourn for his daughter and he will swear to get his revenge. Time for the final step and it is that short and it is heading to Revenger Shack which lies in the western section of Lurnia Lakes. Upon reaching the location, wait for Edgar to invade you and defeat him to get the Banished Knight's Halberd plus 8 and a Shabriri Grape which can be used in the next NPC quest that I will be covering. And that's the end of Edgar's and Irina's questline. A sad story indeed and wait for the full walkthrough with all the dialogues as well. And as always, I hope you find this guide useful and if you learn a thing or two, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Drop your questions below and I will get to them as soon as I can. 
Thank you for watching and for more Elden Ring content, keep it locked here at JRPG Samurai. Stay awesome and safe and I'll catch you on the next one.